All right, so I've made it home from my uh, Mississippi Headwater adventure. I am happy to be home, but bummed that the adventure is over for now. Um, we'll see what uh, what I got planned for later in the summer or even next year. Um, but I'm now to the point of putting all my gear away and everything, and I thought I would do a quick run through of everything that uh, I had brought with me. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Uh, starting with the uh, paddles, I brought uh, the Warner Shuna paddles. They are carbon, fi carbon fiber shaft with the fiberglass paddle. Um, these things worked amazing. They're lightweight and I absolutely loved it. Um, I did have a rain skirt for the kayak as well as a cover. I had my Sea Tug kayak cart which worked really well. Um, lightweight, plastic and everything. Easy to carry and, and uh, did a great job. Uh, moving down here we got my cook set, a pan pot and a little kettle. Had my uh, MSR um, bowl and as well as uh, the MSR uh, little single burner that runs off those little uh, propane butane tanks, whatever they're called. I had my waterproof map case with my DNR maps in there. Um, had no problems with that. I had no moisture get in there and the maps are as pristine as when I put them in there. Had my fishing pole. Did do a little fishing while I was out there. I had the one fish that I uh, caught on video and uh, post that. Uh, someone had recommended to me, bring a chair with you. They said nothing's going to be better than getting to camp and uh, kicking back in your own little chair. So I bought this, Sun Year is the brand. Bought it off Amazon for 30 bucks or whatever it was. A uh, great little compact chair, fit in kayak, perfect. Um, had my Drummondary bag, uh, 10 liter by uh, MSR. And these things are awesome. They are very puncture resistant, very robust bag. Take a little getting used to as far as uh, pouring. They do have three different options. You can pull the cap off here, have one big open spout. Um, I uh, use that for filling or just simply emptying the bag altogether. You can remove this piece here, have about a thumb size hole there to pour out of, or you can pop open the little nozzle there. Um, that's what I would use to fill my water bottles and stuff before each trip. Uh, I have my Climate V2, I believe it is, uh, air pad for sleeping. Not terribly sure that I actually liked it. I have my NRS uh, Paddling Life jacket here. Um, love the jacket, very comfortable, very easy to wear, huge pocket. This is where I kept my uh, phone most of the time. Um, my wife works at PetSmart and I had her, uh, or it was her idea actually to make up a tag that uh, was kind of a, in case of emergency, please contact. I won't show you the information on the other side, but um, nonetheless, it was a great little uh, addition to the vest just in case something happened to me and there would be a phone number to call and let them know what was going on. So that's the gear I got sitting out here on the back of my truck. Let's uh, head in and we'll take a look at the rest. And of course we did have the kayak here, which was my 14 foot uh, Current Designs Whistler. Um, this thing performed awesome. It was, uh, I think, just the perfect size for doing the headwaters. Uh, I had a tarp in here with me. I did not ever use that. Uh, sea to Summit dry bag on the top. And uh, I did have a lock for it, although I didn't end up needing it. Um, I just put a... Uh, steel ring bolt on the uh, inside of the kayak with some carriage bolts there and uh, tighten them down and I just run a cable through the steel ring and lock it up if I need to. For the first part of the river from Itasca to Coffee Pot Landing we did use my 10 foot Pelican kayak. Um, the thing took uh, quite the beating on the way down but uh, it was just lightweight and, and uh, worked great for uh, um, doing the headwaters. It saved the uh, better whistler a lot of abuse. So I did get some of my gear away before I left the river. Um, I came across a retired veteran marine who is going source to sea and uh, he's paddling for Mission 22 which is to raise awareness for veteran suicide rates. Um, super nice guy. I gave him a hand. He had lost a couple items along the way and so I uh, chipped in to help them out, but uh, what I have left is, um, we'll start with the uh, Soku uh, solar charger, I think it's a 22 watt charger, the thing worked absolutely amazing, there's a few times where I uh, charged my battery backups and uh, never even touched, I had three of them with me, never even touched the other two just because the solar panel was able to keep the other one fully charged uh, anytime I needed it. Um, I just have a GP um, tripod here that I used on my camcorder. It's got those adjustable legs and uh, you could twist them around, do whatever you need to do. Um, things stood just, uh, I don't know, about what, 8 inches, 12 inches off the ground. Worked great. Uh, my Canon uh, Vixia HF R400 camcorder. 
Uh, shoots great footage, not waterproof or anything, so I had to be careful with it. But uh, you know, at camp it was great. I was able to zoom in and, and get a lot of uh, good footage. I uh, had bought two GoPro sessions for um, this trip, and I really like them. They worked great, so I'm going to continue to use them, and uh, and I doubt I'll have any problems. So a um, couple of uh, um, USB plugins. I never even used them because I never had any power outlets, uh, batteries for the camcorder and stuff like that. So uh, everything I had that I brought with me I could use um, the portable chargers. This is the, uh, the two that I have sitting here. RAV power. These things are great. I can charge my Galaxy cell phone. Um, I don't even know for a whole week solid without uh, having any issues running out of battery power. And so I was able to keep all of my GoPros, camcorders, um, and my phone all charged off of just the one battery pack I brought and recharging the battery pack off of this solar array. So um, without the solar array and three of these backups, I still would have been able to keep going no problem for the little over a week I was out there. And then the uh, the only other item I have was a uh, Sony, uh, I don't know, steady shot um, still camera, which is actually what I'm filming on right now, so I can't show it to you. But uh, that thing shot some great images. I bought it used off Amazon. I figured I might wreck it, so I didn't want to buy a new one. And uh, yeah, it ran flawlessly. So, All right, a uh, shot of some of the basic tools I brought um, and various other items just to kind of help make my trip a little easier along the way. Uh, we'll start here. I just had 100 feet of paracord. Didn't even touch it. I had this in the boat with me, and I used it to uh, tie off. I think I only used it once, but uh, nonetheless, it was there if I needed it. A Silky T, or sorry, R180 saw. Um, I used this quite a bit. A couple of the campsites I had uh, were, uh, they had some fallen trees, so I was able to saw off some of the limbs and stuff and uh, um, have some firewood. I did have this Gerber Bear Grills hatchet. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the hatchet, aside from the fact that it's very thin, and that's why I brought it. It's very small, compact. Um, I either used it to uh, pound in my tent spikes when I couldn't push them in or uh, I did do a little bit of uh, chopping with it, but I could have done without it. I don't know that I would necessarily need to bring it again. Um, I just wanted to have it and try it. It did work. Uh, I did use it. So um, let's see. We have a, what was it, the Mora knife here or whatever, um, high carbon uh, knife blade. Um, thing was great. I used it to do a lot of... Uh, batoning and, and uh, splitting of wood when it was really wet out and the thing did amazing. It is still very very sharp. Um, awesome knife. Uh, expensive but uh, totally well worth having. Um, this one will definitely go on any trips I go on. Uh, hard plastic sheath. I had a Garmin E-Trex 30X uh, GPS with me which I had downloaded some uh, bird's eye view maps on. Uh, it would have been absolutely fine to use for the fact that my wife brought it home with her and I didn't have it the whole trip, so it uh, really didn't do me any good. I got a Leatherman Electrician's um, folding multi-tool. I did not use it, but I was happy I had it because it uh, they're just so capable and it can do so many things. Um, saws, knives, tools, you know, the pliers, everything. Um, so I wanted to have something with me that uh, I could have... Uh, you know, fix any issues I had or anything. This would have been giving me my uh, my best opportunity to do that. I had my uh, fish gripper. I never actually used it. Um, works great though. It's just a, you know, real lightweight alternative to having a net or something with you. Should I have done any fishing from the boat? Um, and then I brought a couple of the bic lighters. I did bring some fireproof mat or some stormproof matches, which I did not use, and a fire steel, which I did use a few times. Uh, Uber Laban, I believe it is. Um, yeah, worked great. Um, it's a good fire starter. So, a couple other items I had. So I had a couple options for bug spray. I had off deep woods. I had this repel repel tick repellent, which I actually did not even use. Um, brand new, so it's nice to have for the next trip, I suppose. Um, some sunscreen, which I used a lot of. Uh, some Dawn dish soap to wash out my dishes when I needed to. Um, Purell, great for a fire starter as well as a hand sanitizer. Uh, one of my favorite little mugs I own is this little Stanley mug. Um, I make coffee, you put it in here, you know, it keeps it warm for a decent amount of time. Uh, stainless, so it washes out real nice and easy. So I had three of the, uh, they're called isobutane propane fuel mix. Uh, Jet Boils, one brand, MSR makes them. Um, I used my little MSR burner, 
when I cooked. I do have another one that I brought with just in case. Um, the nice thing about this one, although it'll be a little cheaper uh, than the uh, MSR one, it uh, has its own igniter and uh, that's pretty pretty handy although I had a lighter with me the whole time so I didn't have any issues but uh, I did have that with me I just used the uh, the MSR one because I had it and I like that one seems to uh, get things boiling a little faster so that's uh, that's the reason I brought the MSR moving on with my absolutely no organization uh, to this gear video whatsoever way of doing it um, brought toilet paper I had some uh, some of the green kind of SOS scrub pads I brought some deodorant for those days where I was in town or at the resorts getting dinner uh, I had some different batteries I needed I did bring some Tums and some Advil just in case I needed them this ended up replacing coffee for me on the trip I love this flavor um, I actually really enjoy this stuff and it might just work its way into my everyday life um, some MSR salt pepper shakers I think I brought a salt a pepper and then a cumin and then I also had a um, container of garlic salt which made a huge difference for dehydrated meat um, those little uh, dental floss toothpicks these things are a lifesaver and some uh, q-tips I also had a bug net for my hat you just wear it over your face and head that way it keeps the bugs off of you this was my paddle leash I am not totally sure on the brand here let me see um, camping and kayaking .com. This was an awesome little uh, paddle leash. This thing just, I loved it. So I will be holding on to that one for sure. This was my little light that I used in my tent. Um, just some LEDs. Uh, yeah, it worked great. It's small, lightweight, it's cheap. If I broke it, I didn't really care, but it uh, worked just fine in the tent. This is the uh, brand of garlic salt that I used. Um, stuff was really good. I used some ghee while I was out there. Uh, stuff is awesome. If you don't know what ghee is, make sure you do your research. Could help you out a lot on the trip for camping. I had a bunch of uh, extra tent spikes, which I probably wouldn't need to bring again because I never even used them. Uh, these are the MSR ones. They are they're great. They're super strong. They got a cool curve to them. Um, love them. Uh, Huggies, baby wipes. Um, uses should be obvious. Anywhere from cleaning to cleaning. So use your imagination or don't. And then I also had a collapsible stove, which uh, just simply runs off of uh, um, small twigs and sticks. And uh, as long as you keep it sustained, it'll boil water for you, no problem. Uh, just in case my uh, burners didn't work or I uh, didn't have enough fuel with me. Here we can see the uh, two tackle boxes of fishing gear I brought. Uh, just pretty much all my favorite lures, a couple of forceps. Um, did a little bit of fishing while I was out there, not as much as I had hoped. I had two of these little... Uh, I don't know what you even want to call them, tower camera mounts, they're not very big. Um, I started out my videos or my series with uh, having these on the front of the boat. Um, I ended up taking them off because just where I had them mounted, I couldn't reach them. So um, they do work great and everything, and they would have been just fine, but I just couldn't reach the camera to shut it off where I had these things mounted. This is a little, uh, let's see here, what's it called? Uh, it's a cell phone camera holder. Um, it allows you to put your camera in here then tighten it down really good so it's not going to fall out. I did have a selfie stick which I think I used just one time when I was hiding in the uh, under the bridge during the thunderstorm. And my current designs bailing sponge, uh, I used this thing a good amount and it worked just fine. So uh, here we have a simple mesh bag which I used um, to portage around dams and stuff. The nice thing about these is you can pack them down really nice and tight. Uh, they're not waterproof or anything, they just simply are something to put your gear in that you can haul it up over things. Um, I'd recommend trying to find something like that. This is, like I said, just a huge mesh bag. The sleeping bag came in, um, worked great. This is one of the bottles that I carried with me on the kayak, um, just a camelback, kind of like a Nalgene bottle. Uh, worked great, um, did have some measurements on there so I could uh, try, to cook a little, try to cook a little bit easier uh, measuring out what I had. Um, and then I had a bunch of, uh, you know, the smaller water bottles you can buy in like the 24 packs at the store. This is a, um, little backpack. It's a one sling backpack from Red Rock Outdoor Gear. Um, great little bag. I, uh, anytime I leave my, my, uh, my kayak and my gear behind, I would always keep this bag with me with my most important valuables in it. And, uh, just an awesome little bag. It's got all kinds of Molly Webby in on it and everything. So, um, works great. 
Snug Pack Ionosphere. This was my tent. Um, the only problem I have with this tent is you can't sit up in it. And there was a couple times where I crawled in early to avoid the uh, mosquitoes at night. And I wish I could have sat up in it. I can sit up, but my neck is cocked way over and uh, it's just not comfortable. Um, as far as sleeping goes, the tent works absolutely fine. It's lightweight. Um, you can see how small it is. I mean, it's not big at all. It fits right in the kayak perfect. So um, if I could sit up in there, that would make this a 10 out of 10 for me. But uh, other than that, we're sitting at about a 9 out of 10. So not bad. All right, so some of the silverware I used. I did just have a stainless steel set of uh, knife, fork, and spoon. Um, works fine. Had some of these, uh, I don't know, spork combo things. Um, I did use them quite a bit. They work great. I didn't need to have four with me, but I did. Um, I had a can opener. I had a, I don't know what they call this thing, but it uh, pretty much acts as a sponge. You got one side that's really soft and malleable, and the other side which is pretty rigid. And uh, this is great for cleaning out pans and stuff. Um, it does prevent you from having to carry a sponge. Uh, I actually did remember bringing it after I was out on the trail. I probably wouldn't have brought the uh, green scrub pads if I'd remembered I had that. So, um, but it worked great, and I did, yeah, I did use it. Uh, and then this is just a little wooden spoon that came with my cook set. Um, I don't know if I used it or not. I probably didn't. I just used uh, one of the other utensils. But uh, yeah, no, it works fine. I have it with. So I did have several different options as far as dry bags. I brought a couple with me just for my clothes. I had one dry bag with my sleeping clothes, one dry bag with my everyday clothes. Um, this one actually went in the deck bag of my boat. That's where it belongs. Um, that's what I put my uh, camcorder and my still camera in when I was actually paddling. Didn't want to risk them getting wet. And then for my electronics, I had a much thicker uh, PVC bag that uh, is much more robust and uh, can take a lot more abuse and Never had any issues with any of the dry bags, even these snug pack ones. They're a little spendy, I think, but uh, um, yeah, no, they work great. I remember uh, on the first part of my trip, I didn't even carry a backpack or anything with me. I simply took this large bag, filled it up with some snacks, some of my uh, gear, and um, just wrapped it up and stuck it in the boat with me. And that's when I got poured on um, for a good couple hours worth of rain, and everything inside say, stayed just absolutely bone dry. So. Um, dry bags, if you're going out and you're going to be out there for a while, it is nice to have. Alright, so I did bring a med kit with me. Um, some basic stuff, nothing crazy. Uh, just just those in case moments that I would, might have. Uh, uh, water filter, the Sawyer Mini. Didn't use it, actually, now that I think about it, wish I would have. But, uh, you know, you just get busy while you're out there. Um, I had a wrap that I actually use. And... Uh, uh, got hooked in the hand by my fish, so that was great. Neosporin, of course, more toothpicks. Uh, I had a spray uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol with me. Um, I just had Benadryls and stuff like that for allergies. I had another wrap that was vacuum packed. Um, just some various things like tapes. Um, Prilosec for heartburn, should I have gotten any. These are little tick removers. I don't know if they're any good or not. Uh, I got them cheap, so I figured I'd bring them. But I uh, never actually had any ticks that latched on, so... And on the tick note, I did burn a couple of uh, tweezers as well. Um, just some extra batteries. And then I had... This is something that I will actually change. But um, I did have a vacuum pack um, bag of band-aids, gauze, and uh, just various other things like that. Um, I vacuum packed it to get it to be real nice and thin. The issue was when I actually got those hooks in my hand, and um, you can see they were right there. I'm healing up nicely now from them, but uh, they, uh, I wish I would have had the band-aids open, and I didn't want to open this pack because then all the band-aids would have been open and exposed. So um, when I go through and pack for the next trip, I will pack you know, a couple band-aids, maybe a gauze together, but in several different bags so that I can open one and not uh, risk ruining the others. A couple other items as I move around the house here. I had my uh, Tilly hat that I wore while I was paddling. You can see that in the video. The sleeping bag I used was a Teton Sports Trailhead plus 20 degree Fahrenheit. Uh, I wanted a sleeping bag that wasn't very expensive but uh, would still keep me warm and this thing did, uh, did a great job. So I know it's not a great shot but this is a Alps Mountaineering uh, sleeping bag liner and what I ended up using this for was 
I would blow up my uh, my uh, sleeping pad and put it inside the liner. It was almost like a bed sheet. It was great. And then the uh, I did have a towel with me. It was a microfiber towel from Snug Pack. Um, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. it. I used it when I showered. I used it when I bathed in one of the lakes. And uh, the cool thing is, is I let it sit out in the sun for you know half hour, and the thing was bone dry again. So not very big, but it uh, did everything I needed it to do. So. I think that uh, pretty much covers uh, the majority of the gear that I brought with me. Uh, some stuff I needed, some stuff I didn't. I would definitely change a few things before I go on my next trip. Um, but uh, at this point I just basically uh, want to try out a few different things, see what I like, see what worked for me. I will start getting on editing my videos real soon here and get those put up on YouTube. Hopefully uh, you guys will enjoy the series. So. If you have any questions, throw them down below and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks!